Hello AP Chemistry students. We're going to be doing one of the AP Chemistry labs. Um, this one is designing a hand warmer. Um, we're supposed to be doing six different chemicals, six different um, ionic solids, but we're only going to do two this time just to show you what exactly is involved. The first one is ammonium chloride, and you should know the formula for ammonium chloride. The second one is lithium chloride. Okay, and we're going to check and see what sort of a difference uh, in temperature they make when they are put in water. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so what we're going to do is we are going to, according to the instructions, it says that you need, the instructions say that you need to take 45 milliliters of water. So I've got my graduated cylinder here, okay, and I'm going to put in 45 milliliters of water. I'm using distilled water here. And this works really well because I can actually control how much water is going in there. It doesn't have to be exact. Okay, well that's pretty close. Maybe a little bit more. Okay. So now I'm going to take the water, I'm going to pour it in uh, one of the cups. Okay. I'm going to fill the other cup with 45 uh, milliliters as well. Okay. Okay, and I'm gonna put that in the other cup, okay? Okay, and I'm going to, I should be wearing goggles, so I'm gonna put on some goggles, okay, as soon as I can find them. Where's my goggles? <clears throat> okay, now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to weigh out on the scale, okay, I'm going to start the scale, turn it on, I'm going to zero it, and then I'm, I've got two substances I'm going to do. So today I picked these particular ones, I picked ammonium chloride is one, and the other one I picked is lithium chloride, okay. So the first one I'm going to do is I'm going to take lithium chloride and I'm going to measure out uh, roughly about five grams, okay. Um, I'm going to note, zero it. Okay, and then I'm going to get my uh, spatula, okay, which is this, and I'm going to measure out roughly about five, wow, this stuff. It has a lot of chunks in here. It's very chunky. <laughs> Sometimes when, this, when uh, lithium chloride gets uh, moisture, it's, uh, it gets very hard to, uh, to get out. Do you still have your, the metal scupola that you used? I'll be good. Okay, that might help. Oh, there we go. All right. Oh, perfect. Okay. Uh, it's okay. 
Yeah. So I got 5.02 okay, grams of the lithium chloride, okay? So that's gonna be my lithium chloride. Put my weighing paper on the scale. I'm gonna get zero it, and then I'm gonna use ammonium chloride, okay? And the ammonium chloride. Okay, ammonium chloride. We need about five grams of this. Okay, a little bit too much, so I'm gonna take, put some of it back. Mm, we got about 4.92. Okay, 5.06. Okay, so we got roughly about 5.06. Um, I'm gonna make a note of that. It's, it's pretty close to five, so we can still use that. It doesn't have to be exactly five. Okay, it just has to be relatively close uh, to five, okay? And that's gonna go with, uh, this is the ammonium chloride, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is, okay, I'm going to pour my solid into the liquid, okay? And then I'm going to watch the temperature, okay? So I've got uh, a thermometer. Here's one, put it in there, okay? And I've got another thermometer. And here's another thermometer, okay? All right. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the solid into the liquid and then we're going to see how much the temperature changes. If the temperature goes up, it is going to be exothermic. If the temperature goes down, it's endothermic, right? If it absorbs energy, it's going to make it, uh, it's going to make it go down. If it gives off energy, it's going to be exothermic, okay? Okay, so let's see. It looks like our temperature is at the beginning is roughly about 20... Uh, 20, mm, looks like it's about 21, I think. Let's see. Okay. Uh, looks like the, for this one, uh, initial temperature is about 20, 23.7. And then for this one, it's roughly about 23.9. Okay, I'm going to add my solids. Okay, I'm going to do it first with the ammonium chloride. Okay, and I stir it. Okay, it's being dissolved. Okay, and it stirs, it dissolves it in the water. Dissolve it all, and then watch and see what happens with the temperature. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing for the lithium chloride. Mixing that one. All right. Okay. This one, I pretty much dissolved everything. I dissolved the whole solid, and looky here. Okay. Temperature has actually gone down. It's it's about roughly 16, uh, about six, 15, 16 or so. Okay, uh, I guess probably about 16.5 degrees Celsius. It actually went down. Okay, it it uh, changed went negative. Okay, <clears throat> okay, and then.
then this one, uh, let's go ahead and dissolve all the lithium. What's happening with this one? Well, this one is actually, oh wow. This one's going up to, it's, it's like uh, 36, 37. It's on its way up. Okay. Uh, this one, temperature's going down. And this one, the temperature is going up. <clears throat> Make sure all your solid is dissolved. Oh, wow. Temperature is still going up. Now it's really going up, like 38. Okay. Okay, this one. All the solid is dissolved. Let's see what it's coming out to. Ooh, wow. This one's probably about, mm, I guess about 16 or so. Okay. This one. I'm trying to get all the solid pieces. Uh, wow, this one's like almost 40, okay. All right, so it looks like we got for the ammonium chloride, uh, the temperature change was roughly about, uh, the final temperature was about, was about 16.5, roughly, degrees Celsius. And then for the lithium chloride, it looks like it's roughly about, um, like about 42.9 degrees Celsius. So your teacher, me, will go over this with you in class and show you how to do all the rest of the, how to process all the rest of the data. And this will be our lab. Thank you for watching.